When a cannonball is fired from a cannon, the force that propels the cannonball, called the action force, has an equal and opposite reaction force. The reaction force pushes the cannon backwards. Even though the reaction force is the same size as the original action force, the cannon moves backwards much more slowly than the cannonball moves forwards. This is because the cannon has a much greater mass than the cannonball. The alkali metals, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium are arranged in group one of the periodic table. They have similar properties and react readily with other elements. This is how the first three metals in group one, lithium, sodium, and potassium, react with water. Those metals placed further down group one react even more violently with water. This is rubidium, and this is cesium. The common frog returns to water to mate and lay hundreds of eggs. Each egg is covered in jelly, which the tadpole feeds on before hatching after 10 days or so. Over the next three months, the plant-eating tadpole grows and changes color, gradually developing back legs and then front legs. Finally, it loses its tail to become a little frog, which moves onto land and grows to reach its adult size. The larva that hatches out of a ladybird egg is covered with spines that protect it from predators. When it has eaten enough, it settles underneath a leaf and turns into a pupa. Inside the pupa, body parts are rearranged to produce the adult form, a ladybird. When it emerges, it is yellow and soft, but it soon turns red and hardens. The way that a ladybird changes shape during its lifetime is called complete metamorphosis. Some complex behaviors, such as nest building in weaver birds, are innate. Male birds are programmed from birth to build elaborate nests, which help them attract a mate. The males collect long strands of grass and weave them together to form a loop. Further material is added to form the roof, and finally, the entrance. Chimpanzees, however, learn many of their skills during the early years of their lives. This young chimp is watching its mother use a tool to crack open nuts. As it grows older, it will start to imitate this behavior, and eventually, with practice, it will succeed. Hummingbirds are one of the few birds that are able to hover and fly backwards. Because of their flying skills, they can dip into flowers to feed in a perfectly controlled way. They dip their bills right into the flower and extend their long, hollow tongues to suck out the nectar. The fireworks used in displays today are of various types, but all of them rely on chemical reactions. Most fireworks are made by mixing gunpowder, which is a fast-burning explosive substance, with compounds that color the flame or make distinctive noises. Strontium compounds, for example, burn with a red flame, and magnesium compounds create white flashes. This human fetus growing inside its mother's uterus receives all the nutrients it needs to grow and develop from a structure called the placenta, to which it is connected by the umbilical cord. Its brain and most of its major organs develop within the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. In later months, the fetus grows in size and complexity until it reaches full term at around 40 weeks. This giant electromagnet is being used to shift heavy objects in a scrapyard. When the current is turned off, the magnetic effect stops and the objects drop off. The giant tortoises of the Galapagos Islands have different shaped shells, which can be used to identify which island they come from. On Hood Island, the tortoises have saddleback shells that enable them to reach for leaves. On Santa Cruz, the tortoises have low, rounded shells that help them push their way through thick vegetation. Darwin, the English naturalist who first proposed the theory of natural selection, concluded that the common ancestor of the tortoises evolved into the distinct form seen today when the islands became isolated from each other by water. Fish that swim in shoals seem to move and change direction at exactly the same time. No one is quite sure how they do this. Fish live in shoals to confuse predators and thus avoid being eaten. As the bee goes round this flower collecting nectar, the pollen the bee has taken from another flower rubs off onto the sticky central part of this flower. 
This is pollination. Pollination is crucial in the sexual reproduction of flowering plants because it is the method by which the male sex cell inside the pollen is brought to the female sex cell contained in the center of the flower. Astronauts orbiting the Earth must learn to live with their apparent weightlessness as the Earth's gravity makes them freefall around it. This film shows astronauts on the US research station Skylab, which was launched into permanent orbit around the Earth in 1973. Astronauts lived on this station for months, studying the effects of weightlessness on the human system, living cells and other materials. The results of these experiments have been used to develop new medicines and technologies. Bacteria reproduce very simply and rapidly by doubling their contents and splitting in two. Just one bacterium dividing every 20 minutes could produce nearly 5,000 billion billion bacteria in one day. When the sun sets here at Mount Kenya in East Africa, the temperature plummets to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Ice crystals soon form on the ground and water trapped within the soil freezes rapidly. Because water expands as it freezes, the ice forming within the soil pushes up to the surface, causing the ground to heave. The flashes of lightning that light up the sky are sheet lightning which is contained within the storm cloud. Fork lightning shoots from the cloud to the ground, creating a path of electrically charged air. A return streak shoots immediately from the ground back up the path to the storm cloud. The kingfisher is in perfect control of every movement when it dives into the water to catch its prey and then immediately rises out of the water again. It is using its muscles in a coordinated way. The cheetah is well adapted to moving on land. It uses the powerful muscles in its back legs to propel it forwards at great speed. Wallabies move by jumping. They use their highly developed back legs to leap forwards and their tails for support. Crocodiles use most of their energy holding their bodies off the ground, so they cannot move quickly on land for very long. Snakes use the muscles along the length of their bodies to move. The muscles contract against the surface they're lying on, pushing the snake forwards. Millions of nuclear chain reactions take place within the sun every second. The intense heat of the sun causes its atoms to collide and join together in reactions called nuclear fusion. Energy is released from the nucleus or center of each atom, which we feel as warmth and see as sunshine. Huge bursts of energy called solar flares occasionally explode on the sun's surface. Periodic combustion of fuel within this internal combustion engine pushes the pistons down, producing rotational motion. A person riding on this whirling waltzer experiences the spinning of the chair combined with the spinning of the whole platform. These wind turbines convert the linear and non-periodic motion of the wind into rotation, which is periodic. The periodic motion of the piston on this steam engine produces rotation of the wheels, which in turn drive the train. Periodic motion is often shown by springs, such as the one in the base of this pogo stick. This speeded up film shows the periodic rotation of the giant planet Jupiter. Different parts of the planet rotate at different speeds, often leading to giant storms, which themselves rotate periodically. The periodic motion of pendulums is so regular that they can be used to regulate clocks. The periodic motion of this rider's legs is converted into circular motion of the wheels and then into linear motion of the cycle. This plant responds to daylight by unfurling the leaves that protect its flowers. On the surface of its leaves are numerous cells called stomata that enable gases to go in and out of the plant. The stomata also open when it is light and close at night. Some plants can respond to touch. For example, the tendril of this passion flower coils round the tree branch as it touches it. The Venus flytrap is insectivorous. It catches insects using tiny hairs that are triggered by touch. When oil leaks from a damaged sea tanker, large slicks form on the surface of the water. The oil is washed up on coastlines, causing extensive pollution. 
Some seabirds are trapped and their feathers coated in oil, while others, mistaking the oil for water, are poisoned as they try to dive for food. Some birds can be saved by cleaning their plumage and releasing them into unpolluted areas. However, many others die as habitats where they live are destroyed. Protists are abundant in water and on land. Most, like this amoeba, are single-celled. Its false feet, or pseudopodia, are used for feeding and locomotion. Volvox is a colony of single-celled organisms. Special reproductive cells give rise to new individuals. Paramecium is covered in tiny hairs called cilia that beat in time to produce movement. It uses a structure called a vacuole to engulf and digest food. Peronema, however, can manufacture its own food and uses its whip-like flagellum to propel it forwards. Aphids reproduce both asexually and sexually during their life cycle. In the asexual phase, female aphids give birth to live offspring that develop from unfertilized eggs. This is a rapid and efficient way of increasing population numbers. In the sexual stage, male and female aphids mate and the female lays a batch of fertilized eggs. The eggs remain dormant over the winter, enabling the aphid population to survive the cold weather. In the spring, they hatch into females that reproduce asexually. In 1940, a newly built suspension bridge collapsed during a storm over the Tacoma Narrows in Washington State, USA. The design had not allowed sufficiently for the effect of resonance. The vibrations of the strong winds matched the natural vibrations of the concrete bridge, causing it to resonate. The resonance increased the twisting and turning motion of the bridge until it broke up and fell into the river below. As soon as a chameleon sees an edible insect within range, it reacts by flicking its sticky tongue out to catch it. Chameleon's eyes are unusual in that they can operate independently of each other. One eye can look at an insect that the chameleon wants to eat, while the other can keep a lookout for any predators. A silicon chip can be made so small that it can sit on the tip of your finger. If we look at the highly magnified surface of a silicon chip, we can see that it is made up of thousands of tiny electrical circuits, all connected together. Because this complex integrated circuit is contained on just one tiny sliver of silicon, modern electronic machinery can be made much smaller than ever before. A coral reef is a good example of the variety of life on our planet. Many different types of fish share this habitat with shrimps, clams, sea slugs and seaweeds, as well as the corals that form the basis of the reef. Corals, which are related to sea anemones and jellyfish, are found in clean, warm seawater that is shallow enough to let plenty of sunlight reach them. These satellite pictures show the Earth's land masses and oceans and the blankets of gases called the atmosphere that surround the Earth. Out in space, satellites constantly circle the Earth, sending pictures of cloud patterns to local weather stations and providing worldwide communication links. This balloon satellite called ECHO was launched by NASA in 1960 as part of a pioneering communications experiment. Ultrasound scans enable doctors to examine the fetus in the womb without the risk of x-rays. This image is generated from reflections of an ultrasound beam. By analyzing the Doppler shift of ultrasound reflected from moving blood in the heart, computers can produce this simulation of blood flow. Ultrasound in focused high energy pulses is also used to break up kidney stones. The stone resonates so violently that it eventually shatters. Delicate soft tissue does not resonate, so remains undamaged. A bungee jumper accelerates downwards due to the force of gravity. The kinetic energy gained by the jumper during the fall is absorbed by the elastic cord. This cord provides a force that increases progressively towards the end of the fall, providing a relatively gradual deceleration. It is the sudden changes of speed and direction that produce the thrill of the roller coaster ride. The changing forces that act on the car push and pull the passengers out of their natural straight line motion. The car is pulled rapidly downwards by the force of gravity, the force that pulls all objects towards the center of the earth. The car plunges until it reaches the bottom of a dip where the rails rise again. 
These abrupt changes make the passengers lurch as they speed along the tracks. Carbon compounds hold the key to life on Earth. This speeded up film shows plants growing on the forest floor. They're able to grow only because of the complex reactions of carbon compounds in their cells. When the plants are fully grown, carbon compounds are vital for their survival.